the bounds of engineering are non-existent. We follow a path that is bordered by skyscraping structures. A nation's engineering projects have an impact on how it looks. Imagine not using any engineering-related utilities for even one day. Unplugging your phone for the full day. A day without spending any time inside any buildings. An entire day without driving a car. Such a life seems entirely out of reach. Today, we'll discuss some of Germany's outstanding civil engineering accomplishments that are found in a developed European country. However, in order to access more incredible stuff, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon. Let's get going! Number 10. Hohenzollern Castle Hogwarts – How masterfully crafted the entire complex is The images of Hohenzollern Castle on Mount Hohenzollern, which is located south of Hutchinson, would definitely conjure up ideas of Hogwarts. The third of the three castles that are located here is the one we are referring to Frederick, the King of Prussia. It was built by William Andy between 1846 and 1867. Frederick August Tyler's work was inspired by Gothic architecture. We adore the overhead picture of this enormous castle in the heart of greenery. The Eagle Gate, grand structures, gardens, chapels, and military architecture are just a few of the area's technological wonders. Number 9. Frauenkirche Dresden, the state's capital, is proud of its magnificent Lutheran church, known as Frauenkirche. It's a part of the Dresden Trilogy. During the Reformation, this Catholic institution changed its religion. After unification, the church as a whole was renovated. Viewing the church from above when it's flanked by other buildings allows us to appreciate its expertise in design and detail. In February 1992, the Dresden City Council started the city's most recognizable structure's reconstruction. George Barr had gotten the initial blueprint via a function object. Every component that could be reused, with the exception of the dome, was done so, and each additional building was reconstructed using the original plants and components. Of the original 8,500 stones received from the million numbers, 3-8 were used once more. The deeper patinas that fire has generated in older stones can be used to distinguish between old and new stones. The chapel now has a wholly unique aspect as a result. Addy produced from several eggs was used to produce the interior's luminescent shine. The front oak door's vague description and accompanying images were crucial components of the overall building abroad. A replica statue of the reformer and theologian Martin Luther is located in front of the church. The artwork in the chapel speaks for itself. You heard that right. Number 8. Hohenzollern Bridge A Rhine-spanning bridge in the German city of Cologne. It measures 419 meters in length. Originally designed to carry both rail and road traffic, this bridge is now only used by rail traffic and walkers following a rebuild in 1945. Particularly as the sun sets, the entire city may be seen in amazement. Homes are constructed of concrete components with steel superstructures. As we can see, the tide arch model served as the foundation for the construction of Allen Bridge. There is a hanging deck. More than 1,200 trains pass through this reliable infrastructure each day. Number 7. Haven Project This 150 hectare, which was under construction for many years, is now complete. This new region now houses 450 businesses. Tourists are particularly attracted to the brand new hiking trail in Haven City, a port city that follows the water. Taverns, cafes, and restaurants abound there as well. In order to avoid Ukraine and transport gas from Russia to Germany through the Baltic Sea, the North Stream 2 project proposes. The new pipeline, which has a length of around 1,230 kilometers and is located quite close to the North Stream, was built in reaction to recent tensions between Russia and Ukraine. Ukraine earns nearly $2 billion in profit from one pipeline that carries Russian gas from its borders to Europe. The amount of gas transported by pipeline to Germany is about 55 billion cubic meters. Germany is still divided on the completion of the Russian gas pipeline project that crosses the Baltic Sea to that nation. Number 6. Old Town Hall One of Frankfurt City's most recognized structures is a superbly constructed medieval town hall that holds the city's historical center. The Ludwig Museum is located inside the enormous town hall building. The location should be mentioned. 
This building, also known as Town Hall, is located on a man-made island in the middle of the Rednitz River on the bridge. This is because the bridge is through the tower. Joanne Ann Weiner painted the facade's murals in 1755. The building has slogan roofs and is supported by a huge stone pedestal. The sculptures at the location are exquisite, and the putty application is exceptional, particularly on the east side. A sculpture of an angel coming from the wall is located on top. The surrounding area is filled with more sculptures made of non-destructive metal. Number 5. Brandenburg Gate The Quadriga, the celestial horse chariot pulling the goddess of victory, is perched atop Berlin's Brandenburg Gate, the city's first neoclassical monument. It measures about 26 meters high. There are six columns that create five corridors on each side of the building. Massive door columns adorn the two buildings on either side of the gate. Despite suffering severe damage during World War II, this gate was later reconstructed into the design that is present today. Between 1688 and 1791, the Brandenburg Gate, Berlin's first Greek revival building, was constructed. Karl Gothard Lunghens, an architect for the Prussian court, designed it after the imposing entrance to the Acropolis in Athens. The Brandenburg Gate, which is 26 meters high, 65.5 meters long, and 11 meters deep, is supported by two rows of six Doric columns. The Soviet sector contained the Brandenburg Gate in 1946. The gate was unavailable to both inhabitants and visitors when the Berlin Wall was first built in 1961 as a result of the area being off-limits when Germany and Berlin were partitioned as a result of World War II. There were 1,000 persons present for the official opening of the Brandenburg Gate on December 22, 1989, the day the Berlin Wall was torn down. Following that, a large crowd gathered there to celebrate the city's first ever United New Year's Eve. Today, the Brandenburg Gate, more than almost any other public landmark, represents a united Berlin. Number 4. Killer Fortship Building Facility Development We'll talk about a few sizable upcoming modern projects right now. One such example is the shipbuilding facility in Killer Forge Schleswig Holstein, Germany, whose construction started in 2021 and is scheduled to be done by 2023. The project comprises the establishment of shipbuilding facilities with a gross floor space of the 15,390 meters square, midway through 2023. The goal of the project is to improve its capacity for submarine production. This new Killer Ford shipbuilding factory is being constructed close to Zublin in Kiel. Zublin was supposed to construct a new shipbuilding factory with an associated seven-story office tower. For Fishing Group Marine Systems GmbH, Ed Zublin AG is constructing a brand new manufacturing site in Killer Ford that will alter the city's skyline. The financial worth of the contract is in the millions of euros. It's predicted that the new facility, whose construction started in May of last year, will be finished in two years and be used by the end of June 2023. Fiss and Craft Marine Systems intends to significantly increase submarine production after the construction of its new corporate headquarters in Keeler Ford in the middle of 2023. The structure is a part of a site plan that specifies the positioning of additional development projects on the site of the Killer Shipyard. Number 3. Autobahn Germany has used all of its engineering knowledge to create its highways to the highest standards imaginable. These factors have increased the possibility that the autobahns would not need a set maximum speed. The autobahns are a network of access highways in Germany that are under federal administration. The normal autobahn is 8 inches thick, with contraction joints spaced 15 to 35 feet apart and expansion joints often not present. The Autobahn in Germany, which has a total length of around 12,996 kilometers, is the longest highway system outside of the United States and China. Not long after the Nazis assumed control, this roadway was downgraded to the status of a country road. After years of dismissing them as being advantageous only to nobles and capitalists, Adolf Hitler chose to build the first Autobahn, the Reichsadalbahn in 1933. He took this action as a result of seeing their capacity to both appeals to the population and strengthen Nazi military might. Number 2. Berlin Data Center Campus Campus of the Berlin Data Center in Brandenburg Park, a suburb of Berlin, Germany. The Berlin Data Center Campus will have a gross floor area of 24,000 square meters and will be constructed on a 5-hectare plot. 
By the end of 2025, the project will be completed, and a facility for a dentist center will be built on 13 acres and 5 hectares close to Brandenburg Park along Buns Trasa 101, providing a desirable variety of top-tier data center space for hyperscale, cloud providers, and big corporations. The 250,000 square foot, 24,000 square meters building when completed will contain two multi-story cutting-edge data centers with a combined 32 megawatts of power. With SF 3.23 kilowatts M2, it loads with an average density of 300. It's straightforward to come to the school because all three major airports are within a half-hour drive. A third airport is about to debut. Number 1. Digital Park Feckenheim The concept calls for the reconstruction of Frankfurt Feckenheim, Germany's digital park Feckenheim, on a 7 hectare site with a gross floor space of 100 square meters. The completion date for this extensive project, which started last year, is 2028. The project's objectives include expanding the current Necroman facility and developing a digital park and other locales safely in Germany. The continent's largest economy, fences will be removed as part of the development's aesthetic urban design initiatives. There is the best connectivity in Frankfurt. Because there are so many network service providers there, it's a very attractive place to start a firm. Additionally, it acts as a vital gateway to the countries of Central and Eastern Europe. That's it guys, these are only a few of the incredible things we might encounter in the 7th largest country in Europe. In the coming future, many more initiatives will begin. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. Leave a like, share with your friends and families, and jot down your thoughts in the comment section below.